everyone, and welcome back to another grocery haul. This is part two of my two-week grocery haul. haul. Um, we're going to start out in my garage because I have all this pop and I do not want to take it upstairs. So we will take it upstairs as we drink it or need it or put a couple in the fridge of each kind. But this is what we are working with. Um, my mom is coming to visit, like I said, in the last one. She'll be here for about a week. So she requested... Dr. Pepper cream soda and Starry. And so these were on two different sales. It was buy four, get him for like $4. And so I was like, okay, my husband likes Cactus Cooler. That was on the same sale as the Starry. And I will just get more of the Dr. Pepper. But when I went to check out, they didn't come off. So the Cactus Cooler is a different brand than the Starry. So I had to add four more um, containers of soda. So that way I can get the deal. Although it only cost me 30 cents more to get four more 12 packs. So this will last us quite some time as well as, you know, Mother's Day is coming up so I can take it for Mother's Day. So my dog wants to say hi. Scout, say hi. Hi. Okay. So um, we are, here we go. So the crush and the lemonade are for my kids. That's my daughter likes the strawberry crush. My son likes lemonade. He doesn't like pop. So, and the crushed strawberry is the only kind of pop my daughter will drink. Um, so, they don't go through those very fast. The lemonade, yes, but the pop, the strawberry crush, not so much. Hi, I see you, yes. Um, the cactus cooler is for my husband. He's in a cactus cooler mo mode right now, so we got that for them. The star is for my mom. Canada Dry, just in case we have stomach aches. Um, I got the, the, zero, or the cream soda for my mom. My husband likes this. Dr. Pepper, or any type of zeros I like, and Mountain Dew my husband likes. But like I said, Mother's Day is coming up, so we'll probably take some of this to the family's house for Mother's Day so that it doesn't all get drinking at my house. So, um, as well as the Minute Maid cans are so great for kids. My All the cousins love it because they get to drink out of a can, um, so they think they're cool. So uh, those are great things to take for kids instead of like the juice pouches because they drink those too fast. Um, but yes, we will move this upstairs to finish the grocery haul. Okay, so we have made it back upstairs. Um, this is the rest of the grocery haul. I definitely spent more money than I was supposed to. <laughs> my budget to finish up my grocery haul is 140 and I spent 240 so I went about $100 over. Um, but that's okay. Um, I'll just try and stay within budget the next time. Um, some of the stuff I did not include in it, but I, um, will include in my grocery haul because it's like clothes or bed stuff that's not necessarily for a grocery haul or in my grocery budget. Um, but really quickly, my name is Dominique. This is Budget Life Mom Life. I am a, I, we have a household of four, me, my husband, my 11-year-old son, and my 9-year-old daughter. We have a dog. Uh, we have a dog and some fish. My mom will be visiting us for a week out of the two weeks of our grocery budget this, or grocery haul this time. So she did request some stuff that I have. And my husband and I will be out for two days while she's here. We're going to do an overnight in San Diego. So we live in Southern California. Our budget is 300 to 350 Per two weeks, so technically we went fifty dollars over budget using a three hundred and fifty dollar budget. So we try to stick our groceries around six seven hundred dollars a month, um, and I usually go grocery shopping every two weeks <clears throat> and do a fill in if I need to for fresh stuff. We currently have a ton of fresh stuff. If you watch the first part of my haul, and sorry, that's my son, and um, so. I don't think we'll need to get any more fresh stuff because we have frozen fruit for smoothies that we can use towards the end. We have some freeze-dried fruit. So we will go ahead and utilize that for the second part of the grocery haul. I think we have enough dairy to get us through and we make I make homemade bread and that type of thing if we need that. So we're going to finish up. The pop that you just saw was from Stater Brothers. I spent about $86 there, and that was on the 12 pops plus a bunch of chips. Where's the rest of the chips? Can you bring them over here? They're on the table. So <laughs> the chips were on sale for $2.49. The Lay's were. So I went ahead and I got some baked Lay's. I got some white cheddar poppables. I got kettle cooked barbecue. I got... Baked Lay's, 
And then the Doritos were buy two, get one free. So I got one regular Dorito or nacho cheese and two Cool Ranch. So we are set on chips for a while. We've stopped buying chips and pot because they just go fly through our house. Um, but since my mom requested them, everyone else in the house wants them as well. So, and the last thing I got from Sitter Brothers was that I found this on clearance. This um, grape power or Gatorade Zero. My kids prefer the Zero Sugar when it comes to Gatorade. So um, I got this just to throw in our pantry for, you know, <clears throat> refills if we're out and about for drinks. So that is our $86 Stater Brothers haul. A bunch of chips, a bunch of pop, and some Gatorade. So now we will go over to Walmart. I spent $100 on Walmart. This is where I just got some like random things that we needed. I threw a couple of extras in the basket when I saw them and remembered that I wanted them because um, they were not on my grocery list. So the first thing we have is some um, all-purpose unbleached flour just to replenish. Are you going to say hi this time? Say hi. Hi. That's my son. Um, and then speaking of, my son is what? You're like 5'3", five, 5'4". Five, He's taller than me. Trying to find him clothes. Now that I have to shop in the men's section for small is hard. He's going to be living in plain shirts because when I was at Home Goods today or looking around, all the t-shirts were like inappropriate for children, like beer themed or things that were inappropriate. So he's going to be living his life in plain shirts. So um, if you know a great place to get shirts for kids who are tall, he's 11. He's not ready for necessarily the designs in the men's section but he's outgrowing the kids section very quickly so we got 10 pounds of the unbleached all-purpose flour we have 10 pounds of all-purpose or unbleached bread flour i'm making bread for everyone in my family for mother's day um, because they all love my homemade bread so i just need to replenish i got three last time i got two more we're going to be making quite a bit of bread so i want to make sure i have enough on hand plus just to keep in stock um these were on these were 297 each and these were 423 for the bread flour so my kids really like this arizona juice so they were 324 each my daughter likes the watermelon kind and my son likes the fruit punch so i got one of each um these will probably sit on the shelf Maybe while they drink something else. I don't know. This will just last just a while. Um, this is the best price I can find on these Arizona drinks. So I get them there. They used to be $2.98. So they just recently went up. So fun times with that. My mom requested some sweet tea. I know nothing about sweet tea because I don't drink it. Um, so I got her this Milo sweet tea. So hopefully it's good. I need limes for lime juice uh, for some of the recipes I'm working on. So these are four for a dollar at Walmart. So I went ahead and grabbed those. Uh, we've been going through a lot of bananas, at least frozen bananas, making Banana. like smoothies or protein drinks. Uh, my husband has, so I just grabbed four more. And those will probably just go straight in the freezer. Uh, your favorite cereal? Yes. <laughs> he requested honeycomb, so I get the big bag. Six ninety eight, I believe, at Walmart. Okay, for Mother's Day, I'm making, what is it, like a Hostess Cupcake Cake. So, like the Ding Dongs or something. So, it, requi it required 14 ounces of marshmallow cream. I found 13 ounces. I believe I might have a little bit in my pantry, so I went and grabbed that. And that was $3. Uh, this is the best string cheese, hands down. <laughs> Both my son and I agree we're the only ones who eat string cheese in the house. So I got a 24 pack at Walmart. I believe it was about five bucks. Thank you. These almond barks were about three forty six each, I believe. I don't have my receipt on me. Sorry, just going from memory. Uh, last time I wanted these, they were out, and I could not find almond bark in any other grocery store. I didn't check like Joann's or Michael's. I probably should have. But, uh, so I just grabbed two to keep in my pantry, so when I have it, I have chocolate bark, so I grabbed these to go ahead and add to that. One of my recipes request, or had coconut milk on it, not something that I keep on hand. This was two fifty, I believe, for this one. It's not the best, because it does have guar gum in it, which I, I don't know that very much about... Or no, it doesn't have polysorbate. I don't know what that is, but the other ones had guar gum in it. And I know people usually try 
get it without that. So if we like the recipe and I want to stock this in my pantry, just a couple of cans, I'll buy some from um, Azure Standard because I know they have some that's just straight coconut milk. For $5, I bought this buttermilk powder. So buttermilk is also requested in one of the recipes that I'm making. I don't remember which one, but uh, I got this because I can just put it in a mason jar and vacuum seal it because I have one of those vacuumers that go on top of the mason jars and then we could just open it whenever we need it versus buying buttermilk because I'm not going to use it it's just going to go probably go bad in my fridge so I got that instead for a dollar 47 I bought some mini M&Ms my son likes those what are they called um yogurt the yogurts that come with M&Ms on top uh, I always have vanilla yogurt on hand, so I just got mini M&Ms to go on top so we don't have to spend the money for the extra um, Yo Crunch, I think is what they're called. Yogurt, so we got that. He doesn't even like the, the other kinds. He just likes M&Ms. Um, instant espresso was on my list. They were out of instant espresso at Walmart uh, when I went to get it, and that's where I usually get it. So instead, I just got instant coffee um, in case we run out of instant espresso before I need to go back Ooh. shopping. I got some mirin because that was in one of my recipes. I think it's the Asian coconut, or Asian coconut, Asian chicken peanut salad. Um, is in a, and I don't have mirin. I have like rice vinegar and some other um, Asian style cooking things on hand like sauces and whatnot. But I didn't have that. These are my favorite snack bags. They are square. Um, different from like the long thin rectangle ones. I love these when I buy snacks like um, in my last haul I bought donuts or cookies. I just take them out and put them in these to <clears throat> portion them out for my children. I also do that with like chips for snacks for lunches and any of our snacks. So I have these on hand because I do not have any backup. All the ones I have are in my um, drawer with bags so I grabbed one for backup chili sauce I usually get this at Aldi and they were out which sucks because they were only 49 cents at Aldi and they were a dollar 49 at oops sorry a dollar 49 at Walmart oh. so we went ahead and just grabbed two of them there so portobello mushrooms and shiitake mushrooms we bought for hibachi that we're going to be making and so um I believe these were each about three dollars um these are requested these different types by my husband I don't eat mushrooms but my mom does so the two of them can enjoy mushrooms <laughs> we're almost out of country crock our spreadable butter that we use to put on like toast or put on pasta we make pasta um so I went ahead and grabbed another one this is about 543 I believe and I just got the one with calcium because why not add some calcium while you're getting some butter my mom requested some caramel macchiato creamer and so we went ahead and grabbed that. I think it was like $3.97, the best price I could find for this. I was out of quart, freezer quart bags. I think I'm out. I need to just do some digging and put them all in the same spot because I currently have them in different spots. But I will use them regardless. So I got a hundred pack of them and I believe it was about five bucks. And that is what I got at Walmart. Quick question though, while everyone's here, this is currently my sourdough starter. It's pretty much almost doubled since I started this morning, but when I cooked a loaf last night, I got super flat, oh, super flat, super dense bread. Does anybody know how to fix this? this is the second time I've tried to try, I've tried to make sourdough bread, and this is probably like the third or fourth starter that I have tried. And I am just struggling with trying to make sourdough. I can make regular bread perfectly fine with flour. I even use bread flour to make it, but for some reason I can't get it. I don't know if it's because I'm using this like silicone mold ban banneton, I think is what it's called. Something like that. Uh, to put it in there. I don't know if that's a problem for it. I just need to like line it with... Um, a flour sack towel or something but I am struggling with my sourdough so if you are good with sourdough please help me <laughs> okay and that is our hundred dollar Walmart grocery haul the last place we went to was Aldi uh, I know I was just at Aldi but there was a couple things I didn't have while I was there and so here is what we got 
or I forgot to get. So I got one thing of Frosted Flakes and it was $3.58, I believe. Um, I spent $100 at Aldi, but only $47 on food. So I got two of these cage-free eggs, the brown eggs. They were $2.47 for each one. So I went and grabbed that. Um, the lactose-free milk is what my son drinks. He's the only one who really drinks the milk in the house. My husband drinks oat milk. And so <clears throat> this should last two weeks, fingers crossed. Lactose-free milk, um, it's about three twenty. Do you think it'll last you? You have stuff all over your face. Um, <laughs> so here we go, we have sorry. four of those. You don't think so? Well, you get what you get. Maybe. I grabbed these. These are the two fifty each. I found these miracle noodles. Have, if you've tried those, please leave a comment down below. Are they good? Uh, my doctor wants me to start keto, and so I know letting go of things is hard uh, when you're used to it. Even if you don't eat them that much, just knowing you can't have it is difficult. So I grabbed these to try them out, see if they would help. I think they each come with two serving sizes, and then. Yes, so it would be four servings of pasta uh, for me. For five, oh, I think food cream is getting so expensive. I think it was like 5 30. I got some heavy whipping cream. Um, just, I like to have this on hand because I can always make some Alfredo. Um, but I believe I have another recipe that this is needed for. I think the hostess cake. Uh, whipped cream. They had some fun whipped cream flavors, so I went and I grabbed some. They're $2.99 each. I got just the plain whipped cream to put on top of coffee or desserts if we want it. But then we liked, my daughter says she likes to put whipped cream on top of her strawberry, so I found strawberry flavored whipped topping, so I thought that would be fun. And then they had birthday cake whipped topping, so I thought we would try those as well. So some fun little whipped creams. My son <laughs> requested cheese balls. Cheese so. balls. And we like the Uts kind. We usually used to get this from Sam's, but since we aren't shopping at club stores right now, I grabbed it there. It was $5.98 for the 23 ounce. Um, another one of my son's favorite yogurts because I think he's already gone through two, half of this. It's only been two days. So uh, these are about $5 for the organic Greek vanilla bean yogurt. I needed some more sponges. These are $1.95, I believe. To three, so I just went ahead and grabbed two, two packs, and then I need some cold stuff just to sit in my cold thing while I was driving around going to other stores. So I got this Asian seasoned medley. So this would probably go great with our hibachi, or if we do just like chicken and rice bowls, or a stir fry. So we got this one, and then like I said, uh, my doctor wants me to go keto, so I love to have rice as a side for a lot of my meals. So I went ahead and grabbed some raised cauliflower. I think I might have one of these in my freezer, but just so that we can have them on hand. So this is all the groceries I got from Aldi for that $47. And then for other stuff, um, my sister goes to Disneyland a lot. Um, if I didn't mention it, we live in Southern California. Um, so she has a pass. So she wanted these shorts. They were $6.99 each, so I grabbed those for her. Um... Mother's Day is coming, so I treated myself to some stuff. So I got some new slippers because I'm always losing mine or my dog eats them. I found these Bermuda jegging shorts, so I thought I'd give those a try. And then I also found this romper. This was $9.99, these were $8.99, so I thought I would try them. And if they don't work, I can take them back. As well as this, um, my next haul is going to be a home goods haul and we got some new bedding for our bed and um we were looking for sheets with deep pockets and i happened to run across these at aldi they're 15 dollars, and they fit a 16 inch deep mattress and ours is 14 inches so our mattress our sheet likes to fall off our mattress all the time so that's frustrating so i went ahead and grabbed that to see if those will work if not we can return them and the very last thing we got is a 10 pound bag of potatoes I'm going to try and meal prep these and like cut them up and cook them so we have like cooked up potatoes in our fridge to go with meals because they always go bad on me before I use them. So these are $3.98 for 10 pounds. So we're going to try and do that. I might try and freeze some in like little cubes because we like those for hash browns and we're doing breakfast. My son especially, 
And so I might try and do that and see. I've never canned potatoes, but maybe I'll try doing that and using those for like the, the hash browns maybe. If you've canned potatoes, what do you use them for? Um, please let me know down below so that we can uh, get me some ideas for those. Okay, so this was our, what did I say? Grocery haul. Grocery haul. Uh, $50 over, so I busted the budget a little bit. But this is what we got. So thank you so much for watching again. Um, if you haven't seen the first part of this video, I guess I should fix the title and label it part one and this part two. So that way um, you can get all of that in at once. <clears throat> but this is what will feed us for the next two weeks. If you didn't see that video, we have a lot of meat in our freezer. So this is like snacks and fill-ins, not only for the next two weeks, but for a little bit longer than that. Usually like the pop will last us longer, you know, the freezer bags chocolates like the mirin and things like that those will last way longer than the two weeks uh, but we have meat in our freezers i buy it when it's on sale i buy chicken in bulk um ground beef in bulk when i find it on sale or i find it in a ad on sale so i recently bought 10 pounds of ground beef for like what was it 247 a pound i bought 30 pounds of chicken breast when it was two for um a dollar 77 a pound so we use all of that meat uh just to you know make our meals and i buy the stuff to go with it so i just meal plan around them um so this is what we'll have i need to start working on doing like a what we had for dinner type of video or something so you guys can see what we actually use all this food for um, um but a lot of it is snacks my kids are going to be off track for the next couple of weeks so snacks are needed um, and so <laughs> we'll go through a lot of snacks then. So I'm going to be making probably cookies and muffins and bread and all of the yummy treats to get us through those next couple of weeks while they're not at school. Because we all know kids eat more when they're not at school, I feel like, than when they are because they aren't required to sit in class all day. So, um, this is, yes, you're agreeing with me? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, so this is what we have if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below we have hit 300 subscribers yay, yay! Uh, so very exciting thank you all who have subscribed if you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below uh, so that you um, can see all of our grocery hauls uh, I have a Hobby Lobby home goods not Hobby Lobby home goods TJ Maxx haul coming up next of some stuff that I got for Mother's Day and just some other fun stuff so um make sure you hit that notification bell if you'd like to be notified when more um videos are out okay thank you so much bye bye